Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I just wanted to show you what I found at Home Goods. Obviously, I didn't buy a lot of this stuff because it was very, very expensive. However, I just wanted to show you guys what items they have in store. I did buy one thing though, but look how good these couches look. Or chairs, I guess. They were like a microfiber, but for $2.50, pass. This, however, is what I was in search for. I wanted a round coffee table to go in our living room, but then I came across these chairs that honestly, it took everything in my body to not buy them because these are beautiful. However, they are $200, so no thank you. It works in the living room. We have a rectangular coffee table, but it just, I don't know, I feel like all of the dogs hit the corners, and I just, I don't know. We have a rectangular living room, a rectangular couch, and then a rectangular coffee table, so that's why I wanted to get the round coffee table so that it kind of breaks it up a little bit, but I'm going to take it home and hopefully it looks good. If it doesn't, then I can obviously always return it, but we shall see. This is what it looks like in the living room. Honestly, honestly, I love it. That means that it's not going back, which is good and bad. I really, really like how it looks. Then I'm going to put a couple of uh, little things on there. I also got these for when you're drinking something and then you kind of put your cup on top. I can't, for the life of me, think of the name of these. I also got that. It also doesn't look too big or I think it's perfect. Yamie, I added a couple of things on here just to make it look a little bit better. And still in love with it. Look at that. So cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that little face. Look at that little face in there. Watch this. Do you guys want to go on a little walkie walk? Look at their face. Coco, you want to go on a walkie walk? Let's go. And listen. What's up, everybody? Hey guys, we are at Great Falls. We woke up super early today because we wanted to be the only ones here at the park, but we forgot it was Labor Day weekend, so lots of people are already out here. But we're still gonna make the best of it, and I will show you guys what it looks like because honestly, this place is amazing, and it's only, what, 23 minutes away?
it's the next day and last night I was on Facebook I thought I need a pantry so I was looking at Ikea I was looking at Home Depot to see if it would be cheaper to buy like a cabinet or if it would be cheaper to make one then last night because I couldn't sleep again I was lying in bed and I had my phone out and I thought let me just look on Facebook marketplace and see what they have and I came across a cabinet that someone is giving away for free and so she just well I was at the gym and she just sent me a message through messenger messenger and she's like hey it's out on the street please come get it so I'm gonna go get it right now Anthony told me this is how people get kidnapped hopefully that won't happen I sent him the address but I'm gonna go on my way right now to go get it so I'll let you guys know yay okay guys as you can see I got the goods the gentleman did have to help me get it into my car but the problem is gonna be getting it out of my car Anthony is at work and I am impatient impatient as f which means I'm gonna try to get this thing out of my car by myself may or may not paint it because it does look like it's a little bit faded but other than that it's actually in really good condition so I will show you guys at the house <laughs> I gotta show you guys this because I think it's funny. I literally drove my car all the way into the front of the house. My car is pretty much touching right there. This was the only way that I could get it in here. Where there's a will, there's a may. I can't believe this was free, you guys, free. Here's the crappy part though. It looks good on the outside, but if you open it up, there aren't really shelves other than that. But I have these here that I used for the kitchen island that I'm gonna be, well, that I took off the kitchen island and I'm going to be using these for shelving. Here is what it looks like now that I have cleaned it. I wasn't able to clean that part off, but or remove the stains, but that's fine. I don't care, it's towards the bottom. Now I'm just gonna paint the outside of it and I'm gonna paint it green so that it kind of just blends in with the wall in the back. I don't have a stir stick, so I'm gonna use a knife and then wash it off immediately. But anytime that you're gonna paint something, make sure that you stir your paint. Otherwise, you may get like splotchy or just sections that aren't all the same color. I finally finished it. I just have to add the little handles right there, but it's done. And I like that if you kind of get a little bit further away, it just blends right in. So it doesn't really distract from anything. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be very visible or distracting. So I really like how that came out. The inside is not the best but it's also not bad. So the white shelves are what came with it. The bottom one I can't detach. This one is a little messed up. And then these two are the ones that I used from the kitchen island. And I just did brown, white, brown, white, white, white. That will be covered by the food items that I'm gonna put in there so I don't really care that it looks like that 
But now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the food in there and I will show you guys what it looks like. This is all the stuff that we had that we had to put in here and here. So that's definitely not enough storage for food and for like pots, pants, and all the other stuff. So that's why I'm gonna put it in here. I am gonna go buy groceries. So I usually go to Aldi or Walmart, but Walmart is too far for us. So I'm gonna go to Aldi, pick up some things, make food, and really that's pretty much it for today. I just got back from Aldi. I made an actual grocery shopping list, and on there I needed to get one particular item, and guess what I forgot? That one particular item. I took the time to actually make a list so that I could know what I'm buying at the grocery store and never fails, never fails. I just wanna show you guys really quickly a few of the things that I got, nothing major. We got some pineapples. We got, okay, so we are huge like chip fans, but I know that whenever they're kettle, they are a lot healthier than just your regular potato chips in case anybody's looking for a healthier option to that, I guess. Also got some pretzels. I thought I'd show you guys this. I'm sure a lot of you have already cooked with tofu, but if you haven't, this is a really good alternative to meat products. So tofu is actually really good because then this gives you your protein, but also iron. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make rice and I'm gonna cook broccoli and tofu in the air fryer and then I will show you guys what that looks like. Got some broccoli, grape tomatoes. Something else that I have been really enjoying is zucchini noodles. Okay, I'm gonna finish putting all of this away and then I'm gonna show you guys what the pantry little thingy looks like. So this is what the inside looks like. Now, remember, it's just Anthony and I, so this small pantry is just enough for us. So I have some random stuff up there, our little snack section, and then just like beans, uh, granola, rice, pastas, some chips, bread, and some other canned goods at the bottom. So for us, this is enough food. Obviously, if you have a bigger family, you need a decent sized pantry. But for us, I mean, it's just us. Okay, so this is not a tutorial on how to make rice. This is mainly just how I make rice. I like to start off by adding just some olive oil or whatever kind of oil you want to your pan. Then you add however much of the rice you want to add. For two people, I usually do about half a cup or a cup, kind of just depends. I'm not 100% sure what this does to the rice. However, this is how my mom always has made it. So this is just how I make it, and I'm not gonna lie, my rice tastes pretty good. Here's, here's my beef with Mexican rice. I just wanna add that I don't know where Mexican rice even came from because Mexicans don't even eat that rice. Once you're rice is starting to look a little bit brown you definitely don't want to burn it which i kind of have but you just want to make sure that it's brown enough and then you add water for one cup of rice i like to do about four even five cups of water sometimes just because i find that it makes it a little bit more fluffy that way and then after i just like to add some of this to give it that flavor and that's really it. Just keep an eye on it, but it should cook in like 15, 20 minutes. I usually cook tofu on the stove top, but I am going to be cooking it in the air fryer for today. And hopefully it tastes good, but I will let you guys know. So as you can see, they just look like little squares. And then when you cook them they shrink a tiny bit but you can season these just as you would any regular meat item i just went ahead and put it in the air fryer and now i'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning and some salt and i'm going to cook it on the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 10 11 minutes 
this is what it looks like when it's done. Now, you can't tell me that this doesn't look just like chicken. I prefer this over eating real meat. Just gonna add the broccoli into the air fryer and then add a little bit of seasoning and call it good. Here's what the rice looks like. And then you just add some of your tofu. Then I just add my broccoli on top and you mix it up and really that's it. So it's super easy, it's quite healthy as long as you don't add too much salt. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it.